let's answer the elephant in the room question, right? Okay, right, facts. Now, we've had you on the couch a couple times. Facts. Last time I had you on the couch, I had TK on the couch. Facts. Last time I had TK on the couch a couple months ago, you were not on the couch with him. Right. You're on the couch now, he's not with you. Right. What's the deal with TK and Cash? That's my brother. We just doing solo projects right now, that's still my brother for life. Uh, we still TK and Cash. You know, we just doing separate things so we can let people know, like, he can stand on his own, I can stand on my own, and we're going to make the thing twerk, and you did, and <laughs> yeah, that's how we rocking. Do people think it's a beef or something going on, or? I mean, you know, from listening to the mixtapes and listening to songs and stuff, it, it kind of get it aroused, but it ain't nothing but music. Ain't, ain't nothing going on. That's my brother. When's the last time you talked to him? Uh, today, matter of fact, he listened to the tape. He told me, he was like, yo, your tape dope. Your tape dope as hell, so. Yeah. What'd you think of his solo tape? His solo tape is super dope. I told him number th four or three, uh, what was it, Just Because? It was one, Just Because. I was like, damn, go. So do you still do shows together? Uh, yeah, we still do shows together, but right now we just focus on solo right now. So. I see. Oh, yeah. Whose decision was that? Um, as far as being the solo thing? Was that a mutual thing, or was it him, or was it you, or? It was more so like a, a mutual, like, just like to show people like, you know, TK and Cash can stand on their own outside of just having to lean on one, uh, on one another. So, you know, he was like, bro, I'm gonna drop a solo tape. I'm like, bet, I'm gonna drop a solo tape. And we was like, bet, we just gonna thug it, let people think what they gonna think. We both gonna pipe up and we gonna come back together and they gonna be like, dang, what happened? Now, okay, you're solo. Mm -hmm but you were also in a duo, right. right? Right. Now, what are some advantages or some di and some disadvantages? Mm -hmm. I don't want or, I want and, I want to hear both. What are advantages and disadvantages of being in a rap group mm -hmm. versus being a solo rapper? Um, the advantages in being in a rap duo is uh, two minds. You did, so you have two minds that's thinking totally different, but you put all both of y'all sauce from both of y'all minds on one track. That's pretty much just the uh, advantages, you know. And like, it's your partner, you know what I mean? Y'all, y'all rocking together, so it's great when you, you know, experience certain things together and accomplish certain things together. As a solo artist, um, the advantages is you have your own mind. Like, you can actually do whatever you want to do, like, and say whatever you want to say, feel however you want to feel, wear what you want to wear, do what you want to do. And the disadvantages is, um, I mean. I don't really see no disadvantages in being a solo artist. Disadvantages in being a group is you knock heads. So you may not like his song or you may not like what he doing at that time. So you're like, nah, I ain't feeling it, bro. But it may be something that's popping, but they don't know because they, they stuck on it. So you got to you gotta kind of tell them, bro, jump on this, do this, you know what I mean? So it's, it's, just, it's just overall good and bad with it. Money's a little different, right? You got to share money if you're a duo too, right? Facts. <laughs> facts. <laughs> Definitely facts. <laughs> Smiles you crazy. <laughs>